Yo YouTube, it's your boy Little Rex and we're back again with another video. Now today we have the skyline. Everyone has been asking me to do this. We have four more coming um, this week as well. So please make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button. We've just smashed 300 followers. So God bless every single one of you. I really do appreciate that. Now, if you guys haven't already hit that like or follow button, and if you have any comments, any questions, jump in the comments and let me know. Any builds that you guys want to see as well, I'm more than happy to do it. Now today we have the skyline now everyone has been asking me to do this one and i've also put the tune on the auction house as well so if anyone does want the auction and um, just go in go through and make sure you, you can purchase that now i'm not gonna lie to you this isn't the best drift build obviously it is an all-wheel drift build anyway um so the fact that it's rear wheel drive it's actually an asset to me however um of course the original car is a four-wheel drive car so to convert it to a rear wheel drive we're running about an 800 brake horsepower i've tuned it a little bit haven't touched it too much it hasn't got loads of power so we don't really need to um but let's do a sound test you do get that turbo flutter i do feel it could be a little bit more aggressive being such an iconic car and i hate the fact i can't change the exhaust because we need this single pipe but look i'm gonna do the canyon drift not gonna talk too much you guys know how we go man um there's a drift trial halfway up the uh, mountain as well so don't forget to check out my other videos we have so many drift builds on the channel now and as i said if you have any recommendations please do let me know now look i'm gonna stop waffling enjoy the video and peace I didn't mean to do that.
now. I'll be honest. As you can see, that's nowhere near my normal scores that we normally get. If I'm honest with you, I don't think... I don't think this is a bad drift build, but I wouldn't say it's one of the best. However, if you're just starting out and you need a drift build, go on my auction house. Oh, well, go on the tune setup auction house for this car and pick the little Rex tune because I would generally say this is so easy to drift. The thing slides phenomenal. And also on top of that as well, you don't really need to go into high gears. I mostly just drifted that in gear three. I need to tune it a little bit better and I'll resave it as well because I need to change the gear ratios on the fourth gear um, to come. I need to get that boost to come in a little bit lower. However, I think on a whole, it grips. If you want to drive it just normally, like it's, it kind of drifts itself. You know, there's not really much you have to do. And because it's, you know, mostly second and third gear, it's quite easy. It's very easy. So I would 100% recommend it, as I said, the build's on the auction house, so if any of you guys want to go check it out, do let me know. Um, again, wouldn't say it's one of the best drift cars on the channel, but we have nearly 15 videos on the channel if you guys want to go check them out, man. So I want to say big, big love to every single one of you guys coming through. Thank you so much for supporting. And if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Last thing we will do, let's just see what the launch control's saying on this car. Can't really hear it. Nah, sweet. But look, love you guys, man. Big up everyone coming through and showing love, man. I'll speak to you guys soon. Take it easy. Peace.